I am back, I am back. Right, so let me go more into the um, the heart, which I was doing just now. Uh, let me finish it off, and then we will go into something else, dealing with uh, other part of your body to be exact. So dealing with the heart, I'll probably pass it off. Yeah, pass it. So dealing with the heart and circulation system, right? We have the anemia, which we have. This is the natural book of herbal remedies. I mean, lost book of herbal remedies. So like, yeah. Now, this is something you, uh, you have to buy. Um... You can get through, I think it's Scribe or Scribby, Scribbles, Scribbles, anyways. Um, I believe it's, it's not that expensive to be exact. You'll have to buy it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think if you could try and get on the PDF file as well, but it really more like put, put it above. So, it, it does tend to work. Now, I do agree with every single thing because of certain herbs being <laughs> acidic, but it is what it is. Um, so, I got you. So, um, what I told you initially would have been the Lila de Valley, the Mother's Wort, the Arjuna, right? The Lila de Valley, the Mother's Wort, the Arjuna, and the Hortons, right? And then from there, add your Burda Kutia, your Yellow Duck, your Sassaparia. Then you add on your, your Nettle Leaf and your Red Clover, right? You can also add, like I say, your Blessed Thistle. And you add in your Blue Vervine and, and, your, and your Valerian. Those together would give a proper, a proper cleanse of the arteries, of the blood and of removing toxins and allowing bodily functions to increase like your liver functions to do increase due to the burdock root right and of and of course that drink that for again you drink that one cup three times a day for 14 days let that be a, a cleanse or a detox during a particular period you do an intermittent fasting if you can't fast i would recommend that you fast if you can't fast you can do an intermittent fasting all natural fruits Diet with alcohol or spring water or distilled water to be exact. So that's just where it is. And from there now you would see a difference. Now even in here it's, it's showing you where you can use American bass would feel the heart disease. Um the um this dealing with this particular party, right? So let me go back into it. Um American bass wood, black walnut, cat's claw, which is also very good, which was shown also in the um the herpotic site, which I could give a good example. Um if it would, if it would allow me to <laughs> Uh, bam, bam, bam. From right here, we're supposed to have the going for that. We have the. That's what I see. Cat's claw, cat's claw. Yes, we not see that. It was right there just now. But all right. Um. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's go back and see if we find it. If you can't find it, then it is where it is. Well, it is what it is. It is. Um, so, but usually cat's claw also is very good, very useful for that particular, um, for your heart disease. As well as the hops, which I wish, right? Yeah. I'm going to go back into it. I uh, don't know why you know, the app moving a little bit weird, but that's a small thing. Right? So you also have the hops, you have the cinnamon, you have the chive, exclude the cran cranberry, exclude the Epsom salt, one time. And as I've seen, things that i would disagree with are those things exclude the cranberry very acidic exclude the um the 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 S epsom salt the juniper berries no problem the lamb stem which we know as mother's wort no problem the milk thistle which is a family to the blessed thistle not an issue but make sure you include blessed thistle because you already read, also read that multiple times in the um on this and blessed this is also very good very useful which i'm going to get now to be exact so i'm going to pause and get the um so right this is blessed this here let me make this thing a little bit bigger so i can get a full screen right so deal with blessed this to be exact it says here straight to the point blessed this is a high in iron and has been used in traditional medicine to increase circulation and oxygen delivery to the brain another thing that you could use for your brain so we have three already Blessed Tissel, Lilia, the, I'm sorry, Blessed Tissel, Valerian, and Blue Vervain. Let me continue. Um, it says here, uh, oxygen delivered to the brain to support brain functions and to support heart and liver functions. Its bitter phytonutrients are used to support liver and gallbladder functions and to stimulate the upper digestive tract to promote a proper digestion and improve appetite. So yeah, that's all I see. Did I wait to take point in time? 
Very, very good for your heart. So now let it continue on. Let it move on for the heart a little bit. Let it enter into the field of the area of the lungs, right? Because lungs also is very important. Works well with the heart. Pumps the, uh, the, the, um, the air to the blood. So, which is very important as well. Lung disease. We have something here that's super effective. <clears throat> mm -mm. Wait, let me go back into the heart disease first. So, the symptoms usually for, for heart disease is, is, is um, nausea, anxiety, vomiting, weakness, dizziness, fainting, chest pain, heart palpitation, excessive sweating in, in chest, excessive sweating in face, on face and neck, leg hurts while walking a small distance and goes away after rest. See that? Be careful. Look out for that. So now let's go, go back into the lungs now as we deal with the lungs. So the lungs, as we already know, deal with the mucous membrane. Cleansing the mucous membrane will help fix your lungs. But we can all let go into it still because we're still dealing with the separate um, body parts or the organs to be exact. Right? And we have here... Um... The symptoms are cough, asthma, bronchitis. When they go further, inflammation of lungs, discomfort in lungs, right? Lung disease, as we understand, the, the, the benefits for it, well, as you see here, super effective, which I would beg to differ. Because I find that the mullion works better than the elacampine. But be, since they have elacamp and the, um, this here and the um since I have... Um, Ella campaign are super effective, not an issue, but like I say, it's very good for your lungs. I'm not going, I'm not going to go against that, but in terms of being the most effective, that might be an incorrect statement, unless somebody would have had a different effect or outcome to using Mulian versus um, using Ella campaign. You could also use Ho Hong, like I said before, very good for your lungs and fighting off bacteria in the lungs. Lung wart, I believe, is supposed to be. Um, Mullion, so let me make sure and, and, and get that correct understanding. M Mullion, common names, and let's see, lung wart. You see that? So, like we said, right there, lung wart. So let me go back into the um the chat and get some understanding of it. Which, if you don't know, before you go into that, let me read some this at one time. Because I know we bypass, I know we didn't bypass that part, right? We read it out. So let me go back into it. It says, Blessed Thistle is high in iron and has been used in traditional medicines to increase circulation and oxygen delivery to the brain, to support brain function, to support liver, to support, sorry, to support heart and lung functions. So you see that? Not only is it good for your heart or your liver or your digestive system or to even use as a to remove toxins, acid and mucus and to assist in intracellular cleansing, it is also used to clean to help the lungs. And that's what the scripture said. Let me get us up one time. We're not playing. That's what the scripture said. The Most High had created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not uphold them. Because guess what? Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, it was created by them. They ordained for it to be created. The Yahweh to be exact. So. You want help? There is help. You literally want help? There is literally help. You just have to be disciplined enough to, 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 want, to, to want that help. And to seek and, and to, to, be, to be obedient. Because according to the scriptures, um, let me go into it. When I go into Proverbs chapter 1, I believe, and verse 7. 
Yes, it says, the fear of the of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. And what is an instruction according to Ecclesiastes 38 and 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 um and four, or let's say with wisdom, given instruction, Yahweh or the Most High had created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not uphold them. So let me continue. Go back into the lesson right one time. Right? So especially in this time, because watch me, let me let me let me let me finish it off and then I'll come continue with the address. When I go into especially in this time. Because the scriptures made it plain. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. What times are we in? Pertaining to Jacob's trouble. Coming, um, reaching at its climax. That is the times we are in. Where they are trying to implement the MOTB. The RFID chip. The implant. The, Im the incision, to be exact. Into our hands and our heads. Where they try to use certain means and, and ways to, to make sure that we remain either in utter obedience or we be destroyed, to be exact. And the ones who are unlearned are the ones that are going to fall in a category of destruction. So, you understand where I'm coming from? So, when you go back into it, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. When you hear that, and you go back and hear this part, you are not top. You, it it should give you a, enough understanding to say, all right, you know what? Let me fix my eating ways. Huh? I'm Mr. Black Horse at this ease. Let me fix my, my eating habits. And so, like, after the crunch, I think you can buzz with some kind of pepper. So. Like it is. Anyways, so go back into the lungs. So one of the ways, which as I said, Ella Campion is one, and the most effective is lung wart, right? We have lung wart. Um, no, I, I would also add my two cents into that. We have, we have talinum. We have Monda grass. We have, we have yerba mansa, right? And as you go further, one of my Recipes that I would use to help somebody deal with the lungs um, would be. Let me see if I get. I want to get all these so you could see it on the list as well. So you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't think um, anything. Blessed Tissel is one. Mullion is two. If you want to add, you could add the elderberry tree. Ella Campion is four. Ginger powder is five. Broadleaf thyme, or as we know as oregano. Is six. You know what I'm saying? Chaparral is seven. And milk thistle would usually be the eighth one. But I stopped feeling milk thistle for a while. I'll be honest with you. I'm looking for this herb and I see it. I stopped feeling milk thistle. I stopped feeling milk thistle for a while. I kind of was more leaning onto um. I was more leaning on to, um, let me see how fine the melt is. Um, you see the time there? I was more leaning on to. Anyways, um, exclude the melt is. You add your yellow duck, and last but not least, your stinging nettle. So you add those herbs together, you draw on your drink on an empty stomach. In the morning time, and in the night time, twice a day, one cup. You're drinking water, at least with that. And you're drinking at least two, two liters of uh, spring water. That would add up to about three liters to be exact. You could, uh, you could add 2.5 liters of water to be exact. To make it more, to be exact. Because your body would need the liquid, the hydration, to what? To guess what? Help break down and remove the mucus in your body especially dealing with your lungs 
right so of course any mucose membrane we already give additional um recipes that you could use but this one is a crucial one that tends to what get rid or remove majority of the mucus in your lungs as well as to repair your lungs and, f and increase your lung functions to be exact right so now that's over it we're going to um You're going to brain to be exact. I would say I don't want to use the um I don't want to use the, the big C word just in case I don't want them I don't want them to um to <laughs> I just use how to put disorders. We we are going to we are going to stroke and then we are going to disorders, right? Just to be on the safe side. Um, I don't want to use the big C, so to get my video take down to be exact. So deal with the brain stroke. The brain stroke symptoms are weakness, numbness, dizziness, impaired speech, severe headaches, paralysis of the arms, paralysis of the legs, paralysis of the face, blurred vision in one or both eyes right so with that being said this is a simple and easy way to, to eradicate um stroke and i'm telling you this because i've dealt with a person who have who was coming on to a stroke and their face be, was getting numb the the, the 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 literally the face was like running down like it was just drawing down it was not move it was not living anymore and i gave them a combination of which um the parasite and blood the, the, this fung the parasite and blood cleanse which has a a, 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 a overall combination at about 27 to 28 herbs i would say more but i don't count the herbs i normally go to the forest for <laughs> right so without understanding that help her and not only help her the chicken pain the sharp chicken pain that was in her brain it, it, it removed it the pain was good the, the headaches was gone this sharp chicken pain in her um, vessel was gone, as well as the numbness on her face disappeared. And it took her two to three days, full bottles. I made her drink full bottles, and I told her, you're only drinking water for the next three to four days. I, I thought, I wish, I, I, I digest waiters. So... Um, I want to give an additional listing that y'all could use now. Like I mentioned before, let's see if I have. If they don't have it here, it is what it is. They're supposed to have it here at least. If they don't have it here, something wrong. You understand? Know well, apparently, apparently they don't. So let me go into it, anyways. Um, one of the things that you could use, which we mentioned like before, again, blessed thistle. Why is that? Because guess what? Blessed thistle, aside being high in iron, this part here, it increases circulation and oxygen delivery to the brain also to support brain functions very very good for your brain now next up next to it which i'm glad it was dealing with blue vervain here what it says about blue vervain blue vervain has been used traditionally in traditional medicines so like if you didn't um, think um, as a female tonic to treat menstrual cramps and as an immunogogue to increase, to increase milk production in the women who are breastfeeding. A primary use of the blue vervain is to treat nervous disorders including stress, anxiety, and restlessness. Now when I go into this particular plant, which we will go back, I mean, fact, shit, I might as well, you can always, always get back. Blue Blue vervain, right? And this tends to grow all over Trinidad, to be exact. In, it happens to grow in my yard for some reason, all over my, in my yard. And I'm happy that it's, it's growing there because that's one of the plants that Yahweh had gave unto me to use, and I'm glad I use it. <laughs> so, like, um, so the benefits of blue vervain, as you see. Uh, migraines dealing with the head headache depression epilepsy all deal with the brain 
insomnia all dealing with the brain and as it go further it says um, I believe it's something lower down um, nervine which is directly dealing with the central nervous system which, which is where the brain is um, so it is very useful for the brain now some may not know the benefits of it but I can tell you that the benefits is very good because guess what that is what I have used. The only thing I have changed in my product and used and it, and it fixed and it helped to eliminate that particular feeling that the person was getting. Up to this day, they haven't experienced it again. Blue Fulfin was it. I didn't even have time to grab Valerian. I literally just used Blue Fulfin. So now let's like, continue. Let's like, go back and go into it more. Valerian is supposed to be our next one. Now, if you don't have Valerian here, that would be disappointing because when you go into the chart here, going down, you would see what Valerian does as well. Which is very good with the blessed tissue. So they're supposed to have blessed tissue on that chat as well, right? So let's go down. Let's go down and see what it has to offer. Damian as well, as, as well is supposed to be very good for your brain, nervous system, central nervous system. So let's go into the. Oh, and eyebrow as well, right? So, but we, we will see what I have. Let's go down into the um, Valerian. Main, main man. One of the main men to be exact. So Valerian, which is half here, right? Valerian has, sed has, has, has sedative, right? It's anti-convulsant, anti-anxiety, and anti-depressant properties. It relieves anxiety, nervousness, exhaustion, headaches, hysteria. hysteria. Valerian is used to relax and strengthen the uterus as well. So you're seeing where it deals with your brain and such a nervous system, as well as relax it. Now let you go into just and see what benefits the, 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 the what um, herbs they use dealing with the the brain let's see how good they are how far they reach right brain stroke um so we have lion's mane which is one thing that we know is very good as well we have the wild orange also very good yes indeed now as you go into the effectiveness it has avocado which again you could add to your food list um basil as part of your tea brazil nuts part of the food list Exclude the egg because we're going on to a natural base diet. Ginger, again, either part of the food is or the tea, either or, whether, whether it be chew it or you drink it. Drumstick being moringa, normally yes, but because of the acidity, I would say do it separate. Do it after you do the cleansing, you can take that after. That's my recommendation to be exact, right? Onions, very, very good to, in opening the capillaries in your brain. I would like for you to eat a, a piece of a half of an onion and see how that goes up your nostrils and enter in the top of your You would feel things opening in your brain. That's what it does. It's very good for your brain. Onion. So you could add to your food list. The, when, have, when dealing with stroke, to, to, or, or, that to be exact. Ginkgo. Again, you add it to, you add it to your herb list to get. Right? Um, I want to see if I want to get into the main points, man. Then look, then see. No, nah, man. Let me, let me go into the herb valerian see let's see what i have to offer for valerian valerian right valerian right there now you're supposed to be directly dealing so you have insomnia which deals with the brain depression as you see as you go further hysteria and the list goes on adhd stress migraine headache anxiety nervous disorder you see adhd more dealing with the brain brain disorders see that brain disorders so i'm guessing we're on the wrong path this is brain stroke but brain disorders but it does deal with stroke as well just letting you know um so yeah um so the herbs are right here dealing with the strokes you could literally pick and choose whichever one you'll need to and, and utilize it because it's very good it's also very good for what heart attacks and high blood pressure so also very good for dealing with the heart, which is why I recommend that you all actually could use that as well. So you see, it it, it coming along wonderfully to be exact. Now let go, let me stick, stick along on this topic, so let go more. Let go, um, like you see, we're going into um, brain disorders. We will do a fast one on that. And then we'll come off, we'll go on something else. Brain disorder. Okay. Oh, shucks. I know what I do. Disease. <gasps> Brain. This. 
this order. Nice. So we have the British order. We have the herbs that help the British order. We have Valeriana, which we know as Valeriana. At the end of the day, we have Pennywood, which is the um. Let me get for you. Pennywood is what looks like this. Is like a it looks like a lily on the ground. Usually it grows in the wettish areas to be exact. Pennywort. Uh, so yeah. So this is Pennywort, as you can see. Or it's called a lily farm. Right? This is Pennywort. That's what it looks like. There's also a um, farm to it. Um, that looks like this. So there's the Indian Pennywort. And this is the, the common Pennywort as well. Which is this. We have plenty of this in Trinidad in the Caribbean. Very, very edible. Very, very edible. Very, very nutritious. High in vitamin K's and vitamin B, B and, and vitamin A and C. Very high in K's to be exact. Which is very good for what? Your heart and your vessels. So, blood vessels to be exact. So, turn back into British order. Pennywood would be a crucial. Um, Edible herb or plant for your brain, as well as the name of one. Valerian. As you go further, going into it, it will give you the e that you can consume, exclude the almond, but anise is very good for your brain as well. You can consume, you can use basil, um, blueberries, very good, exclude carrot, exclude broccoli, drumstick leaf, like I say, do it after, don't do it during your, your, your program. Ginkgo, you can use that. I believe you can use ginseng as well. Try it out. Um, uh, mangoes you can consume that while you're taking your herbs. And the herb list for the brain disorder and um, stroke would be blue vervain, valeria, blessed thistle, burdock root. Um, right, blessed thistle, burdock root, nettle leaf, Saint John wort. Um, two more, uh, no, three more. Saint John wort. Chaparral and red clover and hops. Increase oxygen delivery, break up inflammation in any part of your, your veins, arteries, and body, and clean your blood from toxins, impurities, and whatever else it has that causes a dis discomfort or dis ease in your body, right? So now we're going into. Um, let me go into dealing with the. Um, Hold on. So, right, let's go into one more topic here, real quick, and then we'll um, finish this video and go into the next one, right? So, we're dealing with. Um, for this one, we're dealing with. Um, we could deal with eyes. Eye disease. So, for the eye disease, symptoms are painful eye, itching, um, photosensitivity, redness in the white. A portion of your of the eyes, discharge of yellow pus, tears from the eyes, swollen eyelids, involuntary blinking, damn, all right, blurred vision, common, halos, didn't know, blind spots, and floaters, yeah. So, without understanding, the with the eye disease, the cures, I would exclude carrot immediately. I don't know why them put these things here. I would directly dis exclude carrots. Do not, do, don't let them try with that nonsense. Carrots is very acidic and is not good for your eyes. Don't let them try with that nonsense. Take a good look into it and see where I'm coming from. Take a good look into carrot and see what I'm talking about. Don't just, don't just take my word for it. Don't trust my word for it just so. See for yourself and then you'll come back and tell me, Shit, <laughs> you understand? What really going on here? So, anyways, so dealing with the eyes, eye bright is one thing you could deal with the eye. Next one is prodigiosa. Another one is very good for your eyes, right? Now they wouldn't have it here because guess what? That's how they are, right? They don't have everything here, so you have to use this inner spirit or actually get proper information, right? You know how to do so. Now I'm not seeing these things here, which is very strange. So, um, as you go down, like looking, I'm still and seeing. I still haven't seen sage, also good for your eyes. Yes, sapo, another one is very good for your eyes. Ginkgo 
anything that deals with is good for your brain and helping to fix your brain is good for your eyes because guess what your eyes is a connect is a it's connected to your brain it's your literal outward brain viewing the surroundings allowing the light to reflect and back and forth which i gave i did a video on that already right so you're supposed to have that understanding but if you don't this, I just got, uh, this is really a very to give you the benefits or the herbs for it, right? So, the list is there. Now, y'all could use this earning spirit and the foods, like I show y'all, bless it to so y'all could use that as well. Very good for removing what? But I would, I would advise, firstly, bless it to sell rhubarb root with burdock root, clove, not burdock root, sorry, burdock root, yellow duck, sassaparilla, nettle, and red clover. You add those together. Yeah, clean, clean your body first, clean it out, give it a two weeks, blood cleanse of eating. And when you're eating, you eat a fast, intermittent fasting, or you, you, you fruit fast, basically. And from there now, what you would be doing is basically, after that, you're using the eye bright with the prodigiosa, with the sapo and sage, right? And you can even use the nopal, also very good for your eyes. You can make a, 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 a liquid you could use. You cut up the nopal, which is the ratchet, or as you know, as the cactus, um, the, the prickly pear, or the cactus, cactus plant. And you cut it up, put it in a bottle, add the spring water, shake them up, put it in the fridge. You can, you can use that, you can add that with okra, okra, or okra. Um, and you can also use, um, well, I wouldn't say aloes, but just those two. You shake them up, put it in the fridge. Every day you shake them up until, you get, until the liquid begins to get um, more um, slimy. And from there, you strain, strain them out and you rinse your eyes off with that, that liquid and then you, you wash your eyes off after. You can also use it for your hair. It's very good for helping to grow your hair to be exact. What you can also use for your eyes, which I have done, is sea water. Literally. You have an eye infection. You go into the sea and you take a nice little two, three hours, sometimes four to five hours bath will do. One hour bath will do, but I just give you an understanding. You enjoy yourself. And that will usually clear up your eye infection completely. As well as, well, if you have blurred vision, you could use lime water. You'll dilute the lime water or lemon water into, into spring water or distilled or alkaline water. And you rinse your eyes off. It gives a burning sensation, but not too harsh. Your eyes will begin, blood it will get red, not blood red, but red. And from there, when you look, your, 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 your blurred vision will disappear. That is just how it works. Um, so... And the list, let me come back out of that. Let me go down. Ginger is also very good. Um, and, and I says, Gymnia, Gym, Ginima is also very good because it tends to carry down your blood sugar, which is usually one of the main contenders for blood vision or eye issues, to be exact. So, anything that, that gets that carry down your sugar level would help with your eyes as well. Just to be on the safe side and give that an understanding. That's something called bulge weed. Bulge weed is very good for your eyes. So you, you could use bald weed with prodigiosa and an eye bright after you do your blood cleanse. This tends to do what? Fix your eyes. Very, very well. You could, you could use eye washes. You could use the regular nature, which is like I said, the sea. Or even go in, go into um, regular spring water. Your eyes will burn. When you go into spring water, if you, have a, if you have bad eyes, your eyes will begin to burn. And then from there, you'll begin from burning. To regular eyes and then when you watch you'll be seeing but brighter than the usual because your, your, your vision is now being repaired or cleansed so I know I'm not talking out of my behind because I have witnessed it myself so anyways um, like I say valerian is also good for your eyes because it deals with what assisting the brain increasing oxygen delivery as well as clearing the brain so you'd find these things very good. So wormwood tends to remove um, parasites and bacteria that, that attacks your organs and your body. So when you remove that and your body is absorbing the proper nutrients required to repair and give you proper vision and proper circulation and proper blood flow and proper oxygen function, I mean organ function, so like, yeah, then you would have a, proper, um, a better understanding as to what Yahara had really done. <laughs> he made everything for our use. And everything he had made for our use is good for us. That's why we should not abhor them. You understand? 
So, um, so yeah. And this is the reason why it says, Then give place to the physician, for the Most High had created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. So there is a time when in when in their hands there is good success, meaning that Yahweh had strengthened the herbs, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and, and provide a proper recipe or, or give proper discipline to the person who has taken it, taken it, or so on and so forth, however the case may be, to guess what? To get healing. Even so, like I say, Yahweh is also the greatest physician. Meaning, ask and you will receive. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Those who are under the covering of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, ask and you shall receive. So, and the purpose for that is to what? It says, there is a time when in their hands there is good success. It says, for they shall also pray unto the Most High that he would prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life. And it says, he that sinned before his maker, let him fall into the hands of the physician. So, I'll close now from here. And I think I'll do the next video later on today. So, I'll be uploading these two. One and two. So, you all stay tuned and enjoy the video. Take down the recipes again. Because next week, I'll be going back into my regular video making. Um, making regular videos. Dealing with the scriptures and, 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 and I guess, certain topics, I guess. And... Probably, probably a week after, it depends on who asks, if anybody asks, can I have any issues with certain things. I'm still, I still supposed to do the skeletal system, and I ain't do it yet. So I know that's something that we in my head that I have to do. Um, so yeah. So that's just the way it is. So for, to everyone, Shalom Yashirala, Kalhala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Kakadash. Again, we give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS, as well as the like many brothers, because the like many truth. And, 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 Keep the laws and commandments and follow the same doctrine and have faith in Yahweh Shahamashiak. Shalom to, to all. Shalom to the elect. And shalom, shalom to the wanted. And again, shalom to Yahshua Allah. Hope you all take the lesson and have a good one.